It's time for the final game of the day here at the Austin Regional. Northwestern and St. Francis will battle for the right to keep their seasons alive in this elimination contest for McCombs Field. As we said, the last of three games taking place today, the winner of this one moves on to face Texas tomorrow against Siena on a very hot day here in Austin. This one right to Walters. And a walk issued to Kelsey Nader, the second batter of the game. Western in the driving driver's seat that third inning yesterday. Runner is going the throw on to second and sliding in safely is Nader in scoring position. into scoring position early in this one. Zedak rips one to left field. Nader will hold up at third and thought twice about going home. Returns to third. Eventually, there you go. Runners on the corners now for the Wildcats. Season in regionals, but it's about regrouping and getting right back to work as quickly as possible. Katie check swing. That's a fair ball. Runner comes home and sliding in safely is Nader. And she is banged up a little bit, grabbing her hand. And that was a close call. You could see her hand got jammed. Looks as she slid it got. Ray showing bunt. The runner, Katie, advances into scoring position. She moves on to second with Zedak over at third. So now just trying to be the first ones to land a punch in this game. This one taken over to short, and that will bring home another run. It's a 2-0 Northwestern lead. <laughs> Nearly made it to the Women's College World Series last year for narrowly losing to Alabama in the super. And the top half of the first ends with the strikeout, but the damage is done for Northwestern. How that was going to factor in. A diving grab made by Donahue, but that one hit the dirt first, so the leadoff hitter is aboard, Kaylee Walters. This is the matchup, at least you and I have been waiting for, Alex. Well, you jinxed it because you had one of the fastest players in America at first, Walters, and one of the best arms in the country behind the plate in Ray. Dave and Walters maybe being a little bit too aggressive, trying to take second, thinking it was unoccupied. Rubel to right center. Walters hops back to second. Have to have that instinct to get back to the bag any way possible to secure it out. That one grabbed by Grudzelanik. The freshman staring the comebacker for the second out. Program history this year. Came into the regional hitting 309. That one gets past Ray. Another wild pitch allows the runner to advance to third. Throwing a game, coming out of that game, sitting, starting again. That could be a task. Nash with a laser to Zedak. And St. Francis strands a runner at third. Two nothing Wildcats after one. They all really bought in to figuring out how to embrace their new situations. Isabel Cunha pops up to second. Talk about a resume. Ble bleeds that blue and maize there in Ann Arbor. This one sent to center past Nash off the bat of Muno. She heads for second and slides in with a one out double for three. Swings at the first pitch onto short and they get the lead runner, the pinch runner, Grace Minarovic. Off pitch with two away to Kansas Robinson. Called strike three. Marsden gets out of it with her second inning ending strike. 40 innings on the year. And she has suddenly become the arm they are relying on. And she gets Lexi Hernandez to ground out. 
Yeah, coming into the tournament only. They get nine on the season. Udo there, two away. She had the leadoff single, very strong defense as well. That's been the key to their team's success this year. Pitching and defense, and there's the pitching from Riley Grudzalotic. Her first strikeout of the contest. Tape now, though. Chopped it over to first. Ulam, by the time she grabbed it, couldn't make a play. Lifted to right center, and Aubrey is there. For the first out, hustling back to first base was Nader. 36 pitches. In that game earlier today, in the win to keep St. Francis' season alive. Meanwhile, Marsden here hits the batter. Marsden complaining. Emma Ray turns on one to left field, right at Rubel. Donna Hay, an athlete that Kate Rohan says is a high IQ softball player. And she soaked in all the experience behind a fifth year last year in her freshman season. Got her. How about Mars? Just enough to keep St. Francis off balance. This one ripped to left field. That's a fair ball and it drops in. Aubrey rounding first and she's in there with the leadoff stand up double to begin the bottom of the third inning. Continues to tough it out. Hitters count. Ray underneath it and makes the grab for the first out. And that's a big out. One of the best hitters on the St. Francis. Singled in the first inning of this one. Chops went over to short. Donahue on to first. You get the out. Donahue has been so good defensively all weekend long for Northwestern. That records the second out. Runner advances to third. In knowing the speed of Walters, great throw on the run to get rid of it quickly. Ashley Rubel swinging at the first pitch. Shallow left field. And that one is going to drop in there. And St. Francis will score their first run of the night. Katie could not hold on to it. Well, this out in front. High pop-up, and it might have been a better option for Donahue to try to catch that on the move. Katie going. Waves at that one, and an inning-ending strikeout for Grudz Alonik. But the red flash have cut the deficit in half. World for St. Francis looking at their numbers, the fact that they run, how free they swing. Called strike that, three. With that strikeout of this program the last 23 years. And there you see her sister Carol staying in the dugout. You see her talk to the hitters a lot about their plan prior to going. Pulled off the big one nothing win, but. She's a little tired there. <laughs> oh, labor. She was out there for three hours. Called strike three. Top of the order, Kansas Robinson sending one to left field. Rubel to her left makes the grab. The Wildcats get a walk, and that is all. Still a one-run game here in Austin. We hit the bottom of the fourth inning. Tight ball game in this elimination contest between the Wildcats and the Red Flash. Savannah Nash popping up to begin the bottom half. Hernandez off the glove of Grudzalonic, scoops it up, and ends up throwing that one over the head of the first baseman, Muno, but Hernandez stays over at first. Drills this one to center field. One hopped to Lindsay, the throw to second, not in time. A rocket off the bat of Marsden, back-to-back -back hits now. Well, Coach Kreisick gonna go out and challenge this. Great job by Lindsay to come up throwing fields out as a do or die, as if she was throwing home. The question though is second base umpire signaled safe and then out. And Kate Drohan wins the challenge. Her I'm just done to me, but I'm like, I feel like we have won at least every other hitter here right now. 
No appeal there. Farmer goes down swinging. Inning ending strikeout for Grud Zalonik. Still 2-1 Cats. 14-2 earlier today against Northwestern. 14 runs the most Texas has ever scored in a regional. Their Nader is retired quickly to begin the fifth. Well, if you're Texas scouting these two teams, what does your scouting report look by five in that one? The Wildcats rallied to win it early in the season in Clearwater. 10-9, there's a base knock for Angela Zedak, the second of the contest. Counts. Katie to center, and Nash is there, two away. The interesting part of the lineup for St. Francis, and I believe they're going to go as long as... Back in the first inning on a ground out. Lifts one into foul territory. Hernandez is there, reaches over and makes the grab. The freshman, Renee Cunningham, and immediately Lauren Aubrey on the attack flies out to left. What do you make of the decision to go to Cunningham? Well. And send Northwestern into the regional final. That one is a fair ball. The throw to first, not in time. That was a long throw for Katie to make. And Arizcek beats it out. Chopped over to short Donahue. On to first. Two away now as Arizcek. Advances to second. Chopped over the head of Cunningham, charging in as Donahue has to hurry and does. She has been rock solid and short throughout the entire regional. Marsden, there's 101. Up the middle, scooped up nicely by the freshman Walters. Cunia to deep left field, Isabel Cunia gone! And the Wildcats with a little bit of breathing room thanks to the freshman depositing one into the garden. Oh, well, we said it, the bottom part of the lineup and it has been propelled by Cunia has stepped up for Northwestern. The freshman, her fifth home run of the season but gives Northwestern just another inch of breathing room here as the game comes to the later innings. The Kate Rohan said she has the power, she just... And Marsden follows up the homer with the walk. Lindsay Walters deep in the hole, bobbled it, and can't recover in time. Looked up at second before she had complete control of the ball, and there are now two. Northwestern played earlier today in a game that started at noon central. That one passed to diving Walters, the runner rounding third, the throw home, and she is out at the plate. And we will immediately have a challenge. Well, Rubel comes up and throws an absolute rocket, and the throw actually takes Farmer's glove into Muno as she slides. Call stands. Muno out at the plate. What a tag by Farmer. Over against Texas earlier today. Nader back up the middle, and that will drive in at least one run. Here comes a second. Another play at the plate, and two runs will score. And Northwestern with a few more insurance runs to make it a 5-1 lead. Well, this pitch, outer half, but up in the zone, and Nader just drives it right back up the middle. Nash tries to get Robinson, but Robinson's speed easily able to get in there before a tag. 
Amanda. Angela Zedak. That one hops off the glove of a Riz check. And runners on the corners for Northwestern as the inning continues. The bats are hot for the Cats. Katie over to Short Walters with the underhand toss to second. Top half of the inning is over. The Wildcats plate three. They still have a four-run lead, so if you're going to give up a shot, it needs to be a solo shot and not get behind in the count and allow a hitter to be comfortable in the box. Get Donahue so smooth over at Short. And she was a top. Well, you know Texas will be prepared for a dogfight. They'll know that Northwestern's going to come in and want to avenge this morning's game. Katie with the scoop. Hernandez lifts one to center. Lindsay backing up. That'll time pitcher of the year for their conference. Ray flies out. If the Wildcats do indeed get there. Lifted down the line and left. The grab made by a hopping ruble. Ruble on the run, makes the grab in foul territory, and here we go, bottom of the seventh on the way in this elimination contest. These runners against Cunningham, she's come in and done a great job keeping them off base. Look at Donahue, play after play, the sophomore continues to make it short. Over to first, under the glove of the first baseman, the toss, not in time. You know, just couldn't recover in time. Swings at the first one, drives it to left center. Northwestern one out away from advancing to championship Sunday. Loosen up. Over to short, Donahue scoops it up, the toss to second, and Northwestern lives to play another day. But hold The call stands, the runner is out, and Northwestern advances to Championship Sunday. Congratulations also goes out to St. Francis on a tremendous year. They cap it off with 41 victories and just 14 losses for Northwestern. They will meet up again with Texas. Time now for our Capital One rewarding performance, and it goes to Kelsey Nader.